Hello guys, we are back with our next set of video series. In this series, we are going to start the fifth unit of distributed system, guys. Okay. So the first part will be consisting of a coordinated based system, guys. So this whole part I'll be covering with the help of PPTs only, guys. So I'll be trying my level best to explain, guys, because I am not having that much clarity. Okay. So if you want, you can skip these topics, but these topics are really easy, guys. So I just gone through the PPT. It looks like really easy. Okay, so I'll be trying my level best to explain them. So please concentrate for around, it will take around 30 minutes the whole first part guys. Okay, so let us start. Okay, so in this lecture, we'll be discussing the introduction about the coordinated coordination based systems. So what is this coordination based systems is your question, right? Yes. So once you hear the topic, what is that? What is that? First of all, you need definition, right? Yes. Okay, so assume till now we discussed about distributed systems, right? Yes, whereas multiple systems are there, they are communicating in between themselves and they are helping one, someone to get the data and all those things. So they are distributed multiple places and all those things we discussed, right? Yes, whereas here coordination. So from the name coordination, can you understand something guys? Yes, so coordination is nothing but two or more systems will coordinate among themselves to give a result. So this for this sentence, the word coordination is exactly fitting, right? Yes. So this process is nothing but coordination, guys. So basically, few systems or a group of systems will combine to do something. Okay. You can go through the introduction part, guys. I'll be going through some some important topic topics or definitions only. Okay. So in other words, instead of concentrating on the transparent distribution of components, emphasize lies on the coordination of activities between the components. So basically between the components, if you take care of the coordination, how they are, how they are transferring the data, how the mes this message is helping this message, this uh, component like that, those things, if you check those things are, are will be coming under this coordination based system guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea, right? Yes. Okay. So the key to this approach, okay, just give me a second guys. Okay. So now it's a bit clear, right? Okay. So the key to this approach is followed in coordination based system is to clean separation between the computation and coordination. So can someone say me the difference between coordination and computation guys? Sorry, computational coordination. So computation in simple words, you can say it is nothing but calculation guys. So if I give you X equal to 10 and Y equal to 20 and I ask you, I asked you Z is equals to X plus Y. So I'll be saying compute the value of Z using this. So then you'll be computing it. You'll be calculating and saying with the answer. Similarly, if I say coordination, so coordination is nothing but two or few, few people will be combining and doing something. So let us take an example of your major project or your mini project or any kind of project guys, which you did in a group, right? So you among your team, you'll be coordinating among yourself and you'll be completing the project yes so the same thing will be done by the systems or the components here so that is nothing but your coordination com sorry coordination basis system so i hope everyone got 100 percent clear idea right at least now yes okay so let us continue so in this model the coordination the coordination parts of the distributed system handle the communication and cooperation so basically they will be controlling the coordination and even the cooperation also between the processes okay Okay, so in distributed coordination system, they focus on how coordination between the processes take place. So basically in between the process only, we'll be concentrating as you can say that those are processes, components, anything you can say, guys, it will be working fine. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea. So now let us go through the taxonomy. Okay. So this is called as a taxonomy model for mobile agents, guys. Okay. So this is a popular tax taxonomy, which was given in 2000 guys year. Okay. Yes. Okay, so basically this taxonomy is a two dimensional thing guys. If you notice we have drawn in a two axes, right? So it is two dimensional. Okay, it's a tabular format. Okay, so on one side we are having a temporal and coupled and decoupled. Similarly, referential coupled and decoupled guys. Okay, so your first question will be what is this temporal and what is this referential now? So your question will be that, right? Yes. So temporal. So I wrote here itself. Temporal are nothing but are cooperative or communicative processes alive at same time. So basically if both the processes are alive at the same time or running parallelly, then we can say that they are temporal guys. Okay, guys, don't worry about this definition. So once we are going through the examples, you'll be having a clear idea guys. Don't worry about that. Okay. Yes. So temporal means both of them should be alive at the same time. Whereas referential means do you, this is a question, some kind of question you can say. So do cooperative and commutative process know each other? So are they known to each other? That is the question there. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let us now go through example guys. Okay. So now observe this word temporal coupled. So basically coupled means it is a positive thing guys. Like this is a true you are saying. Whereas a decoupled is nothing but negative thing where you are saying this is false. Okay. So while we are going through example, don't worry you will be getting. Okay. So temporal coupled means 
this is a true i told you right yes so are cooperative and communicative and alive at the same time so assume that you called your friend guys okay and you and your friend are talking so is it a two way communication or a one way communication guys it is a two way communication because you both are communicating at the same time and alive at the same time right so you are the communication processes alive at the same time so you come under temporarily communicated and referentially coupled so means you will be here so direct i gave an example of phone call okay so you might be asking that why i told referentially coupled so referentially what is that meaning guys you both know each other right so each other explicitly so you both you are talking with your friend because you know him right if he is an unknown number you will be just talking for some time and you will be disconnecting the call but you are talking for a long time means you are known friends and you are temporal means you both are communicating at the same time yes so that comes under here similarly you know both of you you know you know both sorry you know your friend and you are not alive or sorry you are not talking at the same time so that could be a mailbox right so you might be sending a mail to a person you should know that person's email id right before you send so you are indirectly having an idea who is that person so that is the reason why it comes under referentially coupled and temporarily decoupled because you both are not talking at the same time sorry you do not you both are not sending mails at the same time right yes okay so now let us continue referentially decoupled means you are unknown to each other referentially decoupled and temporarily coupled so means you both are alive at the same time so the best example for this will be your zoom meetings guys zoom meetings so basically assume that you got a mail that there is some special class of unknown you got a mail from unknown member unknown email id or some particular company yes let us assume so there is a guy who is teaching some kind of programming language so you just joined so in that situation you don't know who he is but you can communicate with him right yes so you both are alive and you can communicate with him so that is the reason why it came here similarly referentially decoupled means you don't know both of you you don't know each other okay similarly temporarily decoupled that is nothing but you don't know who he is also right i mean you both are not alive so for this the best example could be your youtube videos guys okay so you don't know whom you are listening to okay so i'm not saying in all the cases but in most of the cases okay to whom you are listening you don't know and both of you are not alive at the same time i mean by alive is nothing but you are not communicating with him in live right yes so I, now i hope everyone got some basic idea about uh, this box right yes i gave some real time examples guys so that you can remember it really easily and clearly okay yes so let us continue okay so those are the exact statements guys if you i wrote here right so these statements are already written in the theory part but in the theory part if i start reading and uh, searching that could be an issue so that's the reason why i have written them aside guys okay yes okay so you might be having a doubt okay so now we got some idea about this coordination based system so are there any real time examples for this type of systems yes there is a one popular system guys that is nothing but publish and subscribe system guys i think the the names itself clearly says you guys it is just like youtube you can subscribe and you and whatever we publish you can watch it's the same concept here also okay so in these systems processes can subscribe so basically assume that you are the processes and you can subscribe to the messages containing information on a specific subject so based on the subject and based on your requirements you will be subscribing to us okay so while other processes that is publisher so we will be publishing messages so we will be sending some messages okay so most publishers and subscriber systems require that communication process are achieved at the same time so basically both will be do we can do at the same time right you can watch my other video and i can also upload at the same time right yes so in the same way so hence this is a temporary coupling okay so temporal coupling okay so now i hope everyone got some basic idea of real time example of a publisher publish system right public sorry publish and subscribe system publish or subscribe system okay okay similarly we are having one more system guys that is nothing but linda tuple so but i did not got that much clarity guys so just to go through it on your own guys because i don't want to confuse you with some kind of wrong things that's the reason why i'm just skipping it okay yes okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the coordination based system so in the next lecture we will be going through some approaches that is nothing but some architectures guys okay so we'll be discussing about some architectures in the next lecture guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching